Hi guys, Kim here with Art Classes for Kids and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm joined today with Lily and we've got a surprise for you. We're doing a video like we've never done before. We have never done an unboxing, have we? So today we're gonna to be unboxing something right here that I have been working on. You've been helping me out. We've been working on this for a few weeks. We threw it together and uh, do you wanna tell them what it is? What's well, called? it's our very own Art Camp in a Box. And if you didn't know this before, I've been teaching art for decades and every summer I put on a big summer art camp for many weeks and it's our most popular and most attended program we have. This summer, unfortunately, due to the COVID-19, we will be practicing social distancing and we will be canceling our summer art camp. So we came up with an alternative and we think you're gonna like it. We hope you do. And it's our art camp in the box. And that's why we are doing this unboxing video. So for you. today is our big launch and let's <coughs> unveil what's in the box. So while Lily tries to open that, um, if you haven't been to our website before, it's artclassesforkids.com. And that is where you can um, sign up to buy one of these art camps in a box. The, what's inside is going to be very similar to our art camp. And what happens at our art camp is that kids come for a week and they make eight to 10 projects throughout the week. And it culminates with a big art show. Then all the art they make, they take home, they keep, they uh, sometimes give it as gifts and sometimes they keep it in their home on display forever. So let's see, how are we doing on the unboxing, Lily? Some tight tape. Let me help open this in. There you go. Let's see if we can punch that open. Ooh, what's inside? Let's ah. tilt it a little so they can kind of see. Well, that's what it looks like until we take the stuff out. What's in it? Lots of tissues. Merry Christmas. All righty. So what do we have? We've got these some bags. bags. Yes. And this first oh, bag. I forgot my glasses. Now I can see better. <laughs> In our first bag, we have a welcome bag. Our welcome bags. Welcome to Art Camp in a Box. Lily, show them what's in there and then I'll <laughs> tell them what this is. Well, you have our pre-cut cellophane pieces for all of your paintings and drawings that we'll have in the box. So you can wrap them up. Yeah, so you can wrap them up and have them look real nice for your big presentation for your art show. We have yeah. paint brushes. A little set of mini paint brushes. A 25 packet of acrylic paints and it comes with a paintbrush too. Ooh, la la. We'll use that for plenty of projects. We have a number two pencil, a regular number two pencil. An ebony pencil, also known as graphite pencil. Some clear tape, a glue stick, yes, a sharpie, and a blending stick. And what's that? Oh, and for blending stick, we use it for oil pastels, chalk pastels, and many other things. And then also, you will be going home with your very own art class. Well, they won't be you. going home; they'll already be at home. Yeah, <laughs> with your very own. a lot of projects and inside our welcome box is the answer to the three most asked questions when we told a few people about our art camp in a box. One is what's in the box? Well we're gonna show you what's in the box. There's basically there's ten, I, ten uh, projects in the box. There's ten there's supplies for ten box projects in the box and she'll go through all the supplies. The next question is what will I make? Well, as she shows you the supplies in each one of the 10 bags, I will show you the project that you'll make from that. And lastly, how will I learn? Well, there are three ways of learning. Each one of the bags has one of these papers or a paper similar to this with written instructions and a supply sheet and a little history of the project. And then there's two other ways. Another way is 
that you can sign up for our live stream art classes. We'll be having one of those in June, one in July, and one in August. And all. it's gonna be on Zoom. Yeah, so when you buy your package, it'll ask you if you'd like to be on one of the Zoom um, presentations or one of the Zoom camps. And if you pick that, this, uh, you know, if you're one of the younger kids, we have two boxes. This is the younger kids box. And if you sign up for the younger kids box, you will be, the first Zoom class is June 15th through 19th, 8.30 a.m. till 12 noon. And the younger kids box is for ages five to eight years old. Yes, but we have another box that we're gonna show you in a different unboxing video. That one's for nine and older. And they it's will have- This is our advanced box. Yes, and they'll have their Zoom class that same week but in the afternoon, 1 to 4.30. So let's see what else is in the box. Oh, and lastly, you can also go to our website and you can click the link that leads you to our videos that are only available through our website for these specific projects. Then you can watch the videos at whatever time works for you and you can do them at your own leisure. You can pause them and come back when you want to work back on your project more, that kind of stuff. So those are your three choices. So what we have for our first project is a warm-up drawing. Now this isn't really a project, but you can call it a project if you want to. Yeah, but you're gonna have some art out of it for your art. Show. Yes. So what you'll need for your warm-up drawing are some pieces of pre-cut cellophane that we gave you. And we have five sheets of white cardstock. is what we do when people come to our camp. At the very beginning, we warm everybody up with music, and we also put objects on the table, get you to practice looking at things, and we show you different ways to draw. We encourage you to draw big, draw bold, add shading if you can, add shadows. And add highlights. Are, so these are a few, and we don't spend very much time on those, but they're really important to getting your confidence up and warming up and getting ready to draw because most of the projects incorporate a little bit of drawing to be able to do them. And some are all drawing. So at the end of, of making five drawings, you are gonna pick your three favorite, mount them to the boards, wrap them in the cellophane, and have them ready for the end of the week or the end of the summer, whenever you decide to have your art show. Okay. And we will have a bonus video to show you different ways you can display your art show in your home. Yeah, so what's the next bag in there, Lily? So your second project. It is a colored pencil drawing inspired by David Hockney. And it says one of the supplies in its name, colored pencil, so you'll need colored there you go. pencils. And this is what you'll be making. So all you five through eight year olds, we'll take it step by step. We'll teach you how to make one of these abstract landscapes inspired by the British artist, David Hockney. Uh, this is totally colored in these Crayola pencils. And the thing I love is that you're getting all these cool art supplies and you get to keep them and make more art with them. So what's in there? So you also, we also have the instructions for you. Yeah. And a... We gotta wiggle around that corner. And we also have a pre-taped sheet of paper for mm -hmm. you. It's like a drawing and paper. And then also a cardboard piece to mount your, your, artwork. your artwork on back. Yeah, and when you're done, once again, we've got this roll of cellophane and it has all the larger pieces of cellophane pre-cut for you. I'll take that, Lily. Go ahead and pick out the next one. So, your third piece, your third artwork is this abstract drawing inspired by Jasper Jones. And what awesome. we have in the bag for you is your instructions. like this. It's inspired by the American artist Jasper Johns, his famous painting called Zero Through Nine, and you're going to be making this with those oil pastels. How many do they get in that box? There's a lot. You get 48 pieces and these are all yours to keep. Awesome. And then you get what you'll need to make your work yes. of art on. We also have a modern color paper pre-taped and then we also have the cardboard backing with a label on the back so you can write your name and date on it and so you can go back and, when you're older and look at all your art pieces you made when you were younger and remember that special moment. Yeah, and also remember what artist is 
inspired it. Gosh, what's next? We have project number four, which is a chalk pastel chalk. And this is the chalk pastel example of what you'll be making. Oh, inspired by Leonard. 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 Leonard Cohen. And this is a still life of like a big vase or vessel with lemons on it. And at the bottom there's some pears. So it's your classic still life with fruit. Yes. So we also have some chalk pastels, 36 pieces of chalk so that you can keep. Yeah, and if, and it's your, if it's your first time ever using these, this will be a great experience to learn how to use these really well. And if it's not, you're going to get better and better at using these. And then we also have the black construction paper lined with the basket tape that we've already done for you. And then we also have the, the proper backing. backing. Yeah! And then there's so many pastels in there that will last a long time. So you get to make many, many more works of art with these supplies after you've made your really cool one for our camp. Mm -hmm. And then we also have our fifth project, which is a painted collage by Billy Al Banks Bankston, right? Yes, this is inspired by the California artist Billy Al Bankston. These are kind of like these cool silhouettes that were inspired by his trip to Hawaii. And you'll be painting on some of the supplies that we have inside. They kind of look like tiki faces. They kind of do. Yeah, so you know, we have the instructions for you. And these special sheets of sticker It's contact paper. paper. It's like what you put on your shelves. So see, it's got like little lines on there. And you that. can paint on it you're and be, draw on it. Yeah, you'll be painting on these and then you'll be cutting things out and then you'll and be sticking them when you on cut, When you cut the shapes out, we will have a stencil for you, which is in the bag. And it's and, an option. Yeah. You can make up your own silhouettes, or if you'd like to make the same type as Billy L. Bankston, you can just cut out the stencils, trace around them, and cut it out of your painted paper. We also have paint. We also have also the acrylic paints that you'll need for this are in the first bag. Yeah, so you can we, just grab them out of the first bag. We use this for like three different projects. Yes. You also need uh, a paper plate for your paint palette, or you can just grab. Or you can oh. You also need your paint. You your also paint need the brushes from the first bag too, and then um, you can either use your a paint plate for a paint palette, or you can just dip into the little paints. Yes, and last. And then go. also we have a black foam board piece lined with the tape already done. Yeah, all this. Wow, that's going to be a cool project. That's like a mixed media project. It's, it's got all kinds of things going on and it's all good. So now, our second pro our sixth project. Wow. My favorite project and almost everybody's favorite project. The Yeo and Kusama Clay Sculpture Infinity Room. Ooh, now look at it close up. The closer you look, it looks like there's more than three pumpkins in there. It looks like there's ten. So, what we have for you are some instructions. Yellow and black bottle magic. Well, if you don't know what bottle magic, it's also known as marshmallow clay. It's, because it, it's light it's puffy. It's like marshmallows. It, mm -hmm. It's light and puffy and it feels like marshmallows and looks like marshmallows. And it dries hard. Yes. And what so else is in there? They also have this, these pieces of cardboard and a metallic poster board to already cut for you to make the structure. Now, here's an option. You can either make an open room like this or you can add this to either side to make it either a roof or... And the more reflective side you yeah. have, the more pumpkins it looks like. Or there. like a, another side. Yeah. So those are your options on that. You know, you're going to make all those. And you will have to tape this together with the tape in the front. Yes, you'll also need that tape. Yes. Alrighty. Got that. I got that for you, Lily. So now, on to our seventh project. Seven projects. 
thought we already did seven. Now we've got more. We have six. Okay. So here is our George. This is our watercolor Georgia O'Keeffe painting. This is inspired by Georgia it's a O'Keeffe. It's floral watercolor. And it's these two poppies. And it seems very detailed and very hard to do, but we've done it with five-year-olds before and they love to do it. And it actually comes and out great with young kids. I've done this project many times and trust me, we can we can do this. It's awesome. So let's see what we've got in here. Well, we have our instructions like always. We have watercolor. Wow. A set of 36 piece watercolors. That's a cool and set. And it comes with a brush too. Yeah, and you know you this can is also use these brushes too. That's true. For like the smaller brushes for detail and the bigger brushes. For bigger spaces. Yeah, and these are the same watercolors that we use in so many of our YouTube Almost videos. Almost all of our YouTube videos. You also need some paper towels if you get kind of messy. And then we also have a watercolor paper with the basking tape lining. It's already pre-taped for you, ready to go. And we also have our cardboard backing. Yeah, so this is a really cool one. Moms dig this project. Okay, let's see what we what we got next. That Lily. could be a great Mother's Day gift. Yeah, but Mother's Day is like next weekend, and summer camp doesn't start till. You know what? Well, actually, June. if you're wondering, well, all our videos will be online on June first, but our um our first live stream video isn't until June fifteenth. So we have our eighth project, which is. The printmaking with foam. And it's inspired by Pablo Picasso and his Cubist musical instruments. So we've got our instructions. And this project, this is the plate. This is actually what we make the prints on. We make this plate by, grab those foam sheets, Lily. Yes. So you take, you get two foam sheets, which is kind of like that fun foam, craftsy foam. Yes. And you also get a stencil if you don't want to draw a musical instrument and you just want to outline one, you can cut one of these and out. You can either get black foam or, or white, white foam. And this has a sticky back and it's foamy and you cut out the shapes and you stick them all over here and that's how you make your image. Then with the paper, you get five sheets of paper of different colors. You will take a piece of paper onto the plate that you have made all the foam shapes on Put it here, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it after it's been painted, peel it off, and then you will have your print, which will look either like this, if you painted it a variety of colors, or in the middle, if you painted it one color, or maybe you have a color scheme, like this is a warm color scheme. So these are three of my, you know, the favorite, it could be my favorite, and when you do it, you're gonna get five pieces of paper. I want you to pick your best three and mount them onto the three pieces of cardboard. You can mount them, each with their individual cellophane, or you can use just plastic wrap, like the kind you wrap your food with, and you can wrap it and, and connect it with tape in the back and make like a little screen, or hang it flat like a little triptych. So you get a lot of pieces, you get like four pieces of art out of this project. Yes, because this is kind of like a bonus art piece. Or you could take this to here and have one really long piece of art for your art show. Yeah. And for your home. So what you also need are these acrylic paints from the first from the first box. And, and also you'll need paint brushes from it. So That's along good. with that, you'll also need some paper towels and a paper plate if you want to use the paper plate as a palette or you could just dip from the tablets. Yeah. And, and then we also have our cardboard pieces that you can put your art on. Yeah. And you'll also need the cellophane and, and tape. Well, I can't believe we're all ready right to our ninth project. Wow. So our ninth project is a canvas painting. It's our still life canvas painting inspired by Henry Matisse. And it looks a little something like this. This is inspired by his famous work of art called Pineapple. And that's because there's a pineapple on that table in the scene. So I'm gonna be teaching the kids how to make this scene in the, is a style of Matisse, but then I want every one of you to create your own, decide what your favorite fruit is you wanna put on Because we don't table. want all of you guys' art pieces to look the same. We want you guys to stand out. Yeah. 
So this is what they'll be making, and you'll get the instruction sheet, the little history of Henry Matisse. You'll also need the acrylic paint set. And the paint brushes. And we got the paper towels, the paper plate, Bam. and a canvas. And it's the wooden type. With our logo on the back. It's like the wooden type with staples. Yes. Yes. And here so are. that's the ninth project. And then this. And for our tenth Project. This is something we do at our camps every year at the last day of camp. Yes, it's called the before and after dry realism face dry. Who I guess? Dry realistic faces. Yes. So how we do? Well, what you need is it, well, what we have for you is the instructions. So two pieces of blank paper, and we also have. So, two pieces of two pieces paper. of templates of faces of little like faces. So so that we can break down where the features of the face go on the yeah. faces. Yeah. So how we do this project is we we first uh, let you guys uh, draw your own face, how you your own portrait of yourself on how you. And teach you where the features go, different shapes, different options, and how to shade, even hairdos, and how to draw the ears and neck. And then we have you put the two pictures right next to each and other. Parents are always shocked with this one at the end. They just go, "Wow, you know how to draw like that now? Keep on drawing that way and keep I getting better." I can't wait. My daughter did that. Yeah. So what's what's left in the bag? And then we also got a piece of black felt board. And this to is to mount your mount onto it. And then once again, we keep labels on the, we have labels on the back of all the works of art. So you can write your name, your date, and you can also remember if there was an artist that inspired it. Yeah, so we've got this. Oh my gosh, that's 10 projects. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. So, oh my Crazy. gosh, did we leave out any information? Well, you guys might be wondering, how, how, much, does, how much does this all cost? And how do I get it? Right? Yeah. So. The box with 10 projects, all those art supplies that you get to keep forever, um, it costs $175. You're going to camp for $175, plus you have access to all the videos, and you also can join us for the live stream weeks. With the Zoom meetings. Yes. So all of that is $175, which but, is half the price of our yeah, normal camp. But if you pay by a certain time. Yeah. We just launched it today, May 1st, but if you pay any time between today, May 1st, and May 15th, you will get the entire package for $160. We also have things like sibling packs, where you uh, purchase a box, but you add additional costs so that two people can do the projects. And we also have, ooh, if you're in another country and it might cost way too much money to ship it all the way around the world, you can just pay to just see the videos and buy your own supplies. Mm, what else do we have? And then we have, oh, you get a discount if you wanna buy a second box because we have two boxes. We have the younger beginner version box. Which we just showed you. And then on our next video, we're gonna show you the older kids version, but if there are two kids in your family and they each are different, one needs a younger kid's box and one needs an older kid's box, well, you can get a discount on your second box. So, to go purchase one of our art camps before they're sold out, um, we want you to go to our website, which is artclassesforkids.com. Oh, and also, if you want to share your photos with us of all your great art, you probably do, and also your art show at the end of the week, well, how you can do that is you can post your photo on its, your photos, or photo, on Instagram and tag it with Art Classes for Kids, or you can email us your photo or photos and email us at kim.classesforkids.com. Yeah, and I want to thank you for tuning in today to our YouTube channel. Um, please like, subscribe, and click the notifications button down below so you know when all of our new videos are coming out. Yeah, especially the next 
unboxing, which is coming out soon. And until we see you next, keep making cool art.